Welcome to your first Scripture Notes training. I'm your host, Oak Norton, and this is a jump start to get you using the app fast. Once you've done this exercise and get a taste of what the app can do, come back for the next training and we'll start going deeper until you're a Scripture Study Pro. So here we go. On the left, we have our navigation bar. The top icon opens your dashboard, which shows your history. The next one opens the library. Open it up and select a chapter to read, such as Genesis chapter 1. Now click the arrow at the top to expand the pane and show your verse notes. Read the chapter. As you go, highlight words and phrases and mark them up. Make lots of notes in the field to the right. Write questions and insights in those boxes. The more you think, ponder, and write, the more revelation you will receive. Later, we'll talk about answering those questions, but for now, just write them out. To save a note, just click outside the note box and it will save automatically. Now, look for a word or phrase that stands out to you. Click the search icon on the left and do a search for it to see what, where else it appears, or just search for a couple keywords. You can click search help at the top of the search pane to get more ideas about how to filter searches to refine what you're looking for. When the search results come up, expand that pane to show your notes by clicking the arrow again at the top and start reviewing the verses and making notes just like you did in the chapter view. Remove irrelevant results by clicking the minus button. And if you want to see a verse in context, click the up or down arrows. Now at any point, you can save the search results to what we call a collection note. This really lets you study those verses by giving you a master note at the top where you can record summary thoughts about the verses below while you study them. Put notes that relate to the verses in the basic note field to the right of the verses and summary notes about the theme of the verses at the top. Then title and tag the collection and save it to find it anytime in the future. Try this out now and then come back for the next training to go deeper.